Final to Soccer match between Champions Parish and Raymond Chapel will hold at 9 a.m. on Saturday, April 29 at the Tough Training Centre, Nisco. 6 p.m. on the same day, all road leads to the Royal Palace Banquet Hall for a black tie anniversary banquet. The celebration will be sealed off with a cultural Thanksgiving service 9.30 a.m. on Sunday, April 30 at the Champions Parish Auditorium. HGG Radio. Join Pastor Dean Brown inside of the program Expectation, Mondays to Fridays at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, right here on HGG Radio. Listen to me, folks. I have peace when I go to bed at night. I have joy in my life. But because of all our morning got... show is sponsored by All Style Construction for all your general construction needs, commercial and residential cabinet making. Visit their website, allstyleconstruction.ca. The time brought to you by All Style Construction is six o'clock. This is Higher Ground Gospel Radio, owned and operated by Higher Ground Tabernacle Ministry. We are located at 3601118 Avenue, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Streaming live 24-7 at hggradio.ca or download our HGG Radio mobile app from the Google Play Store or Apple Store. Higher Ground Gospel Radio, reaching you at the highest mountain and the lowest valley. Oh, 
physician who promised that you will place none of these diseases upon us. You are our healer. You are our deliverer. You are our way maker. You are our miracle worker. You said in Isaiah 53 and 5, but you were wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with your stripe we are healed. Father, we decree and declare according to 3 John chapter 1 verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Father, I know you want me to be healthy. I know you want me to be happy. I know you want me to be healed. I know you want me to prosper. I know you want me to succeed. I know you want me to walk in optimum health. I know that you want me to live without pain, without hurt, without stress. I know that you want me to live disease-free, sickness-free, stress-free. And therefore, I decree and declare according to your word, I am healthy healthy and physically fit. Sickness and disease are far from me. By your stripes I am healed. I am healed from every physical, physiological, biochemical, bioelectrical malfunction, from emotional wounds, psychological illnesses, from physical discomfort, from sickness and disease. I speak Jeremiah 17, 14 to 15 over my life. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Behold, they say unto me, where is the word of the Lord? Let it come nigh. You sent your word to heal us from all of our diseases. Your word is nigh unto me this day. According to Psalm 107 verse 20, I declare that I am healed by the word of the Lord. I speak to every part of my body. Be healed. Spirit of infirmity, loose your hold over my life and the life of my loved ones. Let the fountains of infirmity, affliction, discomfort, and pain dry up now. Let poison and toxins dry up out of every organ of my body now. Neutralize the negative effects of viruses and bacteria, drugs and medical treatment now. I decree and declare that any and all physiological biochemical, hormonal, neurological, organic, systemic, cellular, or molecular damage sustained from stress, exhaustion, medication, pharmaceuticals, drugs, medical treatment, x-ray, chemo radiation therapy, monoclonal antibodies, etc. It is reversed now. I speak health and healing over my cells, my my organs and systems. I speak healing to my glands. I speak health and healing over my mind. I speak health and healing over my body. I speak that my brain is healed. My frontal lobe, my parietal lobe, my occipital lobe, my temporal lobe, the limbic system, the pituitary glands, thalamus, hypothalamus, amygdala, hippocampus, pons, medulla, brain stem, nervous system, corpus callosum, cerebrum, cerebellum, they are all healed and they come under divine alignment and you are functioning like God has ordained you to function. Father, I decree and declare that my mind is being healed. Heal my thought processes biochemically and bioelectrically. Let there be no misfiring between the left and right brain. I decree that there is perfect balance in my mind, my body, and my life. Heal me emotionally, psychologically, right down to my soul. Heal me of suppression.
repressed emotions, denial, anger, bitterness, rage, loneliness, feelings of isolation, fear, unbelief, doubt, confusion, distress, stress, sadness, depression, frustration, victimization, resentment, blame, abuse, misunderstanding, projection, suggestion, bad reports, evil reports, negativity, innuendos, hallelujah, that undermine my health and healing, hallelujah, reverse the atmosphere that I'm living in, remove the tension from out of my house, out of my environment, heal me of regret, revenge, uh, unforgiveness, jealousy, envy, conflict, self-hatred, insecurity, uh, deliver me from the snare of venomous contaminations, emotional blackmail, emotional attachments, uh, soul ties, malicious gossip, spirits of inheritance, toxic and noxic relationships, uh, poisons of the mind, uh, poison of my spirit, uh, pain, discomfort, discouragement, fear of death, uh, confusion, uh, hemorrhaging, uh, hemorrhaging of joy, hemorrhaging of peace, hemorrhaging of my finances, uh, hallelujah, heal me God, uh, of, of, of hemorrhaging of natural and spiritual resources, uh, oh God, heal me, uh, let there be no more deterioration, uh, disorientation, uh, disillusionment, uh, depression, suicidal thoughts, feelings of isolation, loneliness, fatalitism or fatalities, railings, allegation or death. Free me from all negative emotions. I shall no longer hold bitterness or strife or falsehood or jealousy or slander or envy or defiance or offenses in my heart, in my soul towards anyone. I release them. I let them go. I forgive them, Father, because I recognize all of the negative effects these emotions and these attitudes have had on my body. Today, I choose to let it go. I release offenses. I release bitterness. I release negativity. I release toxic thoughts. I release toxic relationships. I release fear. I release doubt. Out. I release worry, I release bitterness, I release hurt, and I say it unequivocally in the name of Jesus, offenses go, bitterness go, negativity go, toxic thoughts go, toxic relationships go, fear go, doubt go, worry go, bitterness go, hurts go, Father I trust you, hallelujah, to fight my battle, Fight on my behalf. I cannot fight this any longer. Father, I release you. Hallelujah. You are the God that wars on my behalf. And I release angels as well. I decree, I declare, according to Psalm 91, verse 1 to 16, you said in your word that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the power and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and underneath his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. I refute night fears in the name of Jesus, nor from the arrow that flies by day. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, nor from the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor from the destruction that wasted at noon. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy
thy eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation there shall no evil before thee befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under thy feet because he has set his love upon thee therefore will I deliver thee I will set him on high because he hath known my name he shall call upon me and I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will deliver him and honor him with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation father I decree and declare this entire hallelujah portion of scripture over my life in addition to that according to your word in Philippians 4 6 to 7 I speak to all anxiety, depression, neurosis, psychosis, fibromyalgia, to chronic pain syndromes, all bipolar, schizophrenic, and schizoid affect disorder, all obsessive thoughts, and all obsessive thinking. I decree and declare that I am healed from these things. Obsessive, compulsive, and post-traumatic stress disorder is loosed from my life and I command their power to be broken from off of my life in the name of Jesus according to Hebrews 10 22 I draw near to you with a true heart and full assurance of faith having my heart sprinkled from an evil conscience and my body washed with pure water I speak divine healing and regression of of all coronary artery disease and all cerebral vascular disease the arteries of my heart my brain and major organs are now washed free of plaque and cholesterol I am free from the risk of stroke from the risk of hardening of the artery from the risk of blindness I am free from hypertension I am free from renal failure I am free from heart attack I am free from angina and chronic chest pain. I speak supernatural victory over chronic infection, obesity, colds, flus, viruses, and declare healing over my body. I decree that I'm healed from meningitis, osteomyelitis, pelvic inflammatory disease, myostasis, and all forms of endocarditis disease. I decree and declare, hallelujah, as I look to your word in Isaiah 54, 17, which declares that no weapon formed against me will prosper. I decree and declare victory over all autoimmune disorder and speak healing to all forms of lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, thyroiditis, conjunctivitis, allergic rhinitis, Tinnitus, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, diverticulitis, gout, Lyme's disease, chronic cellulitis, myocarditis, uveitis, meningitis, optic neuritis, multiple sclerosis. I superimpose the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus over the law of sin and death and decree and declare that I am healed of terminal cancer, of tumors, of AIDS, of seizure, of stroke, of Parkinson's disease, of multiple sclerosis, of ALS, of emphysema, of sickle cell disease. According to Psalm 118 verse 17, I shall not die but live to declare your works and Lord as I rely solely upon you 
I declare according to 3 John 1 and 2 that above all things I am prosperous, I am healthy and I therefore speak divine healing over my body, over the cardiovascular system, over the neurological system, over the pulmonary system, over the gastrointestinal system, over the reproductive system, over my renal system, over my hematological system. I decree and declare that I am loosed from every infirmity, including deforming rheumatoid arthritis, degenerative osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, spine compression, fractures, slip disc, herniated disc, chronic neck and back pain, and that I am free to move freely in order to fulfill God's original purpose in my life. According to Genesis chapter 1 verse 28 and Luke 10 19, you have given me dominion and power over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt me. Therefore, I speak divine deliverance from every addiction, from narcotics to alcohol and all forms of cocaine, all forms of heroin, hallucinogenics, and any form of drug addiction. I speak healing from chronic fatigue, from chronic depression, from chronic pain, from overeating, from excess drinking, from under eating, from compulsive, inappropriate, and extramarital activities that will make me compromise my health. And Father, help me to walk in just a discipline in every area of my life. And I'm crying out to you today because I need discipline. Help me to get myself together in Jesus' name. I come again, hallelujah, asking you to empower me, hallelujah, by your word, by your blood, and by the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against hunters of the night, those that await the right moment to strike at me. I come against night fears, night sweats, night terror, hallucinations, bad dreams, nightmares, heart palpitation, anxiety, cold sweats, restless leg syndrome, poor circulation, Charlie horses, tingling in my extremities, craving for drugs, craving for sugar, craving for food, craving for alcohol, come against lustful fantasies and thoughts, uncontrollable crying, feelings of emptiness, feelings of loneliness, suicidal thoughts, death wishes, bad wedding, hallelujah, from a weak bladder. Strengthen me, God, in the name of Jesus. Let me rest in you. Let my sleep be sweet. Wrap me in your arms, dear Lord. Protect me. Comfort me. Help me. Give me my breakthrough. Give me my miracle. Give me my healing. Give me my freedom. I want to be set free. I decree and declare that every weapon formed against me uh, is now impotent. Uh, every word spoken uh, contrary to your will uh, over my life uh, is null and void. Uh, it shall not take root, uh, nor shall it come to pass. Uh, every trap constructed malfunctions. Uh, every diabolical contract uh, is nullified. Uh, remove the sentence of death uh, from my life uh, and the lives of my loved ones. Uh, superimpose the spirit of life in Christ Jesus over the spirit of death. I veto, I reverse the curse within my bloodline. I break the bondage associated with it. I break the bondage associated with family idols, word curses, witchcraft prayer, blood sacrifices, ill wishes, deviling in the dark all and negativity. Jehovah Shalom. Let your peace fill my mind. Let your peace fill my soul. And let your power fill my heart, my spirit. In the name of Jesus, cause the atmosphere of death to be replaced with the atmosphere of healing. I command the dead and decaying things in my life to be restored. Let light 
superimpose itself over my body. Uh, let life superimpose itself uh, over the spirit of death. Uh, once again, I decree and declare, uh, I shall not die, but I shall live. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I breathe in the life of God. Uh, I breathe in the life of Jesus, uh, and I reject any further progress uh, of the spirit of death in my life. Uh, Father, uh, let your creative and recreative power, uh, like laser surgery, uh, operate upon my body, uh, operate upon my life. Uh, let every compromised area uh, receive healing now. Uh, Jehovah Rapha, uh, let the power of your spirit uh, enter into my bloodstream uh, and cleanse my blood uh, of all toxics. Uh, I command evil injections uh, and infections uh, to be ineffective. Uh, let healing fires burn uh, and destroy foreign substance uh, floating around in my body. Uh, uproot uh, and destroy evil growth. Uh, expel bacteria. Uh, hallelujah. That has intruded into my body. Uh, release me from the spirits of infirmity, uh, from sterility, uh, from infertility. Uh, Father, in the name and by the blood of Christ, uh, reverse the effects uh, of demonic injections, hexes, spells, deposits placed in my food, in my vitamins, in my water, in my prescriptions. Reverse the effects of implants, hormones, pesticides, germs, GMOs, viruses, environments, and stress that cause addictions, cellular mutation, molecular abnormality, biochemical and bioelectrical malfunction. Uh, disease proliferation, uh, deformities, uh, tumors, strokes, uh, growths, uh, fungus, seizure, heart attacks, uh, handicaps, uh, cancer, tumors, uh, melanoma, lymphoma, leukemia, uh, myeloma, sarcoma, carcinoma, uh, 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 all of the omas, uh, 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 in the name of Jesus, uh, uh, neuroblastoma, uh, geoblastoma, Blastoma, meningioma, colon cancer, lung cancer, breast cancer, pancreatic cancer, prostate cancer, liver cancer, skin cancer, rectal cancer, head and neck cancer, thyroid cancer, German cell tumors, ovarian cancer, gastric cancer, uterian cancer, eradicate the cancer from my body now in Jesus' name. I speak over my blood. Father, reverse the blood disorder, bladder infection, hematological challenges, immune deficiencies, compromisation, weakening or malfunctioning of the organ, disfigurements, inabilities, paralysis, dementia, lethargy, listlessness, labored breathing, tremors, anxiety attacks, sleep disorder, violent or disturbing dreams, nightmares, insomnia, confusion, disorientation, seizures, epileptic fits, migraine headaches, body ache, rashes, sores, scabs, blisters, dryness, itchiness, scaling, psoriasis, hair loss, blotchiness, blotches, blood clots, angina, asthma, bronchitis, loss of teeth, bleeding, hemorrhaging, bruising, infections, thrash, yeast infection, allergic reaction, allergies, muscular atrophy, weakness, dizziness, cluster headaches, migraine headaches, vascular headaches, tension headaches, spinal headaches, light sensitivity, high blood pressure, low blood sugar, spiking of blood sugar, low blood pressure, nausea, vomiting, fungus, ringworm, pink eye, dry eyes, glaucoma, sinus infection, post nasal drip, decreased sense of smell, difficulty breathing, cysts, fibrocystic disease, breast pain, back pain, abnormal mammogram, chest pain, angina, cardiac catheterization, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, abnormal EKGs, heart murmurs, 
valve prolapse, shortness of breath, asthma, sleep apnea, abnormal chest x-rays, heartburn, reflux acid, hiatal hernia, ulcers, renal failure, kidney disease, dialysis, recurrent urinary infection, lupus, scleroderma, HIV, AIDS, arthritis, hypothyroidism, diabetes, excess bruising, excessive bleeding, blood clots, hepatitis, anemia, fibromyalgia, neck pain, joint pain, TMJ, excessive periods, excessive bleeding, menopausal crisis, hormonal imbalance, bipolar disorder, depression, anxiety attacks, body dysmorphic syndrome, malignant hyperthermia, adverse reaction to anesthesia, megarexia, anorexia, mucus, pus, abnormal discharge, bed sores, gangrene, callus, bunions, corns, spurs, muscle cramps, muscle aches, addiction, neonatal challenges, gerontological crisis, gynecological crisis, obstetric crises, sickle cell crises, stunted growth and development, deformities, non-responsiveness to treatment, resistance to therapy. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. Replace ill health with optimum and vibrant health. Cleanse my body from toxic waste, from toxic thoughts, from cravings and emotions. Let there be a supernatural blood transfusion. Wash away the waste by the blood of the Lamb, which redeem me from the curse of death and sickness and disease. Give my doctors and nurses and medical attendants the patience, the wisdom, the insight to know how to handle me and successfully treat this condition. I pray for a medical breakthrough. I pray that you would bless their loved ones, bless their family, bless their marriages, bless their practices, protect them from medical malpractice, protect them from lawsuits, grant my caregivers, grant them the gift of healing, grant them supernatural health, deliver them from fatigue and frustration, bring joy to their lives, bless the works of their hands, compensate them for their compassion and care. Father, bless my caregivers. Remove fatigue. Give them periods of great refreshing and restorative rest. Remove the stress. Let not their immune system be compromised as a result of their care for me. Keep them from catching colds. Build their immune system. Take care of their affairs, please, Lord. Give them friends and loved ones that care for them as they have cared for me. Remove financial hardships and burdens. Meet their every need in Jesus' name. Father, cleanse our mind from any toxic suggestions or projections or evil reports or bad reports or innuendos that cause worry, anxiety, fear, frustration, depression, distress, heaviness, sadness, or the spiking of blood pressure. Heal me from stress-related illness and post-traumatic stress disorder. Father, right now, I repent of all covenants and contracts that I have made knowingly or unknowingly that have created toxic soul ties. I repent for taking counsel from any other spirit other than your spirit and any other representative, hallelujah, that means me no good, that may have opened doors to any kind of evil activities. I decree and declare that that my mind is fortified and resolute. My emotions are sound and stable. My faith is steadfast and unfaltering. The zeal of the Lord fills my soul and my spirit. I break demonic strongholds. I break satanic strongholds in the name of Jesus and decree that I am healed. Father, right now, I make this declaration over my life. I am blessed. 
I am blessed physiologically. I am blessed emotionally. I am blessed spiritually. I am blessed neuropsycho immunologically. My mind, my body connection is blessed. I am blessed genetically. I am blessed psychologically. Blessed biochemically, bioelectrically, neurologically, hormonally, organically, glandularly, gastrointestinally, pulmonarily, endocrinologically, gynecologically, psychologically, systemically, molecularly, cellularly, skeletally, anatomically, muscularly, hormonally, genetically, epidermically, nutritionally, corporally, commercially, relationally, socially, financially, parentally, spiritually, organizationally, politically, interpersonally, personally and behaviorally I decree I am blessed father right now in the name of Jesus I claim full and complete healing and declare sickness and disease is far from me I overcome this by the blood of the lamb and the word of the testimony in Jesus name I dismiss and disband my body my mind my soul from evil discouragement from negative thoughts images of death from failure and sickness in the name of Jesus oh Lord hasten your promise to heal me of all of my afflictions and diseases I cancel ungodly malevolent delays in my healing and miracle and right now I thank you in the name of Jesus amen we say amen and amen We say that you're healed, delivered, and set free this morning. 6.35 Mountain Standard Time right here in Edmonton. You're tuned to Higher Ground Gospel Radio. My name is Roshane Douglas, the Christ in me, the hope of glory. I know you were listening for a devotional this morning. But of course, I was in the spirit. The Lord gave me this word yesterday. The heat to heal. Are they healing or healing in the heat? There are times when you're plagued with fever. Maybe you're in a cold country like here in Canada, where there are times you have to turn up the heat. But I believe that healing is the children's bread this morning. Healing belongs to you. Healing belongs to me. I don't know who you are, but there's somebody that is healed this morning. I don't know what your condition is. I don't know what your conditions are. But I know this morning that you are healed, delivered, and set free. I remember it was yesterday in church. We had a great time. And the power of God was so rich in the service. God came through. And guess what? There was no word yesterday. I know you're listening for a devotional this morning, but guess what? I know that somebody is healed. It's all about impact. It's all about making a difference. It's all about allowing the Lord to have his way. It's not about us, but it's about God having his way this morning. And I know that you are healed. I know you will never be the same after hearing this morning's prayer. Maybe it's not your first time hearing this prayer, or maybe it's your first time. But I declare this morning that you are healed. You are delivered. You are set free. We're going to take a quick break, my friends, for those who are joining us, uh, just joining us. You're inside the Hope of Glory morning show. My name is Roshane Douglas, the Christ in me, the Hope of Glory. Stay tuned, my friends. I want to remind you of an upcoming anniversary over there at Champions Parish. City Champions Parish Edmonton invites you to our 15th anniversary celebrations. Three power packed days from April 28 to April 30, 2023, have been earmarked for the celebration. 
It will kick off on Friday, April 28th at 11 a.m. with a community outreach to seniors as Operation Friendship Senior Society. Same day at 7 p.m. is a unique and dynamic evening of praise at Champions Parish Auditorium. A novelty soccer match between Champions Parish and Raymond Chapel will hold at 9 a.m. on Saturday, April 29th at the Top Training Center, Nisco. 6 p.m. on the same day, all road leads to the Royal Palace Banquet Hall for a black tie anniversary banquet. The celebration will be sealed off with a cultural Thanksgiving service 9.30 a.m. on Sunday, April 30 at the Champions Parish Auditorium, 18811 111 Avenue Northwest. Join us as we render praise and thanksgiving to God Almighty for 15 years of His faithfulness. Stay blessed. Of course, you didn't hear a devotional this morning. But you heard a prayer from Dr. Sidney Trim. It's called Healing Prayer. In the name. There's something about this morning. It's a Monday morning. It's a morning of healing. If there's healing that you need this morning, it's your morning. Salvation. In the name of Jesus. There's something about that name. That's what the songwriter says. Oh, and I love that song where it says, There's something about this name. The name of Jesus. The Bible says, at the name Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Declare him Lord over your body, Lord over your situation. There is healing in the name of Jesus. From Dr. Sidney Dream, healing prayer to this one from George Banton. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is salvation in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. There's salvation in the name of Jesus. Whosoever will let him come, come. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Declare it right where you are. There is healing. There is deliverance. There is deliverance. In the name name of Jesus. Whosoever. Whosoever. But whosoever, whosoever will, the door is open. Be 
healed tonight. There, there is, is healing, healing in the name of Jesus. He's passing away. There is healing in the name. Do you want to be healed this morning? But first, you have to surrender all to Jesus, my friends. Lord, I sur- From one good one to another, George Banton on the double take. From there's healing in the name of Jesus to I surrender all. I want to say good morning to you. If you've just joined us, welcome. You're inside the Hope of Glory Morning Show. Lord, I surrender my life to and no it's one else shame but the in the morning. Keep it locked on HGG Take my life, Radio. take my hands, my feet, my whole life too. surrender all this morning I want to say good morning to you if you've just joined us welcome you're inside the hope of glory morning show my name is Rushing Douglas the Christ in me the hope of glory I call him the legendary George Banton you're listening to George Banton on this one I surrender all Saying good morning to Keisha McDonald Williamson, hey. Kathleen Andrews, Joan Mullings, Patrick Watson, Tatlin. All those who are joining us this morning. Verna McLeod, Sarone Richards, Etta Knight, Cynthia Wallen, good morning to you, my friend. Elsie, no. good morning. Oh. Jennifer Thompson, Grace Gordon, good morning. Andrea Bell Navis, good morning to you. Lyra Chambers, Teresa Hamilton, Claudette Hopwood, Nicole Myers, Helene Ellington, Janice McIntosh. All those who are coming on, good morning, good morning. Angela Patterson, Diane Brown, Stephanie Brown, Patrick Watson, Lulitha Wilby, Hope Briscoe, Lisa Morris, Michelle Bennett. Will you surrender all this morning? Jacqueline Anderson, Kathleen Baychan, 
Verona Stewart, Pamela Lou Givens. My weekend was great, my friend. Thank you so much for asking, Pamela. Petrina Shakes, good morning to you. It's raining. It's a rainy morning over there in the big city or the Big Apple, New York City. From George Banton to Jabez. You have suffered for so long. Keep wondering when your pain will be gone. You Good morning, Andrea Jones. How are you doing, my friend? No tear is left in your eyes. And when it seems hope has gone away by faith, you knelt and prayed, knowing Jesus. Will be passing. Also want to say good morning to Romaine and Chanel on YouTube. Gloria Faley, good morning to you. Carol Robinson. You are healed. You are healed. The fountain is no more. No more. Left his body No more time To cry and worry Praise the Lord I know you're here Now tell the world What the Lord has done How he has touched you With his mighty hand and from that day, you have been set free. The doctors can't believe the result. Say hallelujah, jump and shout, praise the Lord. I know Talk to you today. Many of you right now, you're sitting in the hospital. You may be sitting at your home or your sick bed, wondering where is God in my sickness. But I've got news to you today. I'm here to proclaim a miracle because I know that God is taking the healing business. Right now, I want you to reach out my faith and claim your miracle. Claim your healing right now because Jesus is passing your way. Come on, my brother. Come on, my sister. It's miracle time. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Ooh. I know.
has left his body no more time to cry and worry. Praise the Lord when you die and you need somebody to hear you. Just call and Dr. Jesus is in the house. Oh, Praise the Lord this morning. I know that you are healed. You're not believing God for healing. I know that you are healed. Stay tuned, my friends. HGG Radio. Join Pastor Dean Brown inside of the program Expectation, Mondays to Fridays at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, right here on HGG Radio. Listen to me, folks. I have peace when I go to bed at night. I have joy in my life. But because of all that God has done in my life, you've come too late to tell me that God is not real. Come and expect a blessing, healing, deliverance, and a breakthrough, and a word from heaven. That's Expectation, Mondays to Fridays at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time with Pastor Dean A. Brown out of Bronx, New York. Let's go. 
This is your boy Vision on the mic and you're listening to Rasheen Douglas on MPIAW. Keep it locked. Come on, somebody praise him right now. We give you glory, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for your mercies and your grace. Make the time seven o'clock Mountain Standard Time right here in Edmonton. It is now time for the segment MPIAW. Maybe it's your first time tuned in to Higher Ground Gospel Radio. Maybe it's your first time listening to me and you might be asking the question, what is MPIAW? Well, this is how it's broken down. It's motivation, prayer, instruction, action, and worship. Whatever the conqueror... There's a motivational word that's coming at you this morning. There's a word with your name written on it. God wants to do something awesome for you this Monday morning. Of course, in a little while, we're going to make way for Elder Edmund Muir as he will be sharing the word with you. We're hoping from the east, west, north, and the south. We believe that, hallelujah, the people have suffered mighty long enough. But I came here to tell somebody, don't give up. Your blessing, your blessing, and your miracle has already been approved. Just lift your faith right now, hallelujah, as we give God glory. We feel your glory, we feel your glory in this place, oh God, oh God. Your presence is rich, eh? Oh, we give God praise, hallelujah, in this place, hallelujah. In the year when King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up and his train filled the temple. God is about to fill up somebody that is empty right now. You're about to drink from your saucer. Oh, somebody worship God. God is about to give you double for your trouble. You have been true the test of your life oh you have been through cancer you have been through sugar diabetes heart problems and blood problems but in the name of Jesus I declare healing over your family healing over your ministry healing over your destiny healing over your purpose you shall go out and you shall accomplish what you will I declare that you shall be the head and not the tail you shall be above and not beneath hallelujah i pronounce a blessing over your ministry over your marriage over there's your- a blessing this morning with your name written on it in the name of jesus god wants to heal you anybody feel the glory? just a little faith that's all you need this morning and healing will be your portion joining me at this time a man who loves to pray a man who loves the presence of God. We all should love the presence of God. Guess what, my friends? In his presence, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Uh, 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 Joining me this morning is Elder Edmund Muir. Hallelujah. Host of the segment, Higher in Prayer. Don't give in. You hear him on a Monday evening at 7.30. 
about to kill himself. We pray and something happens. We pray and God shifts the atmosphere. We pray and God brings deliverance, healing, and breakthroughs. Saying good morning to Elder Edmund Muir. How are you doing this morning, sir? Good morning. Good morning to you, Minister Roshane. I am doing well. I'm just uh, thankful to be here another day just to glorify our Lord. How about you? How are you doing this morning? Well, of course, you know, I'm basking in the overflow. You know, yesterday was really awesome. Amen. God moved in our church service. You know, I, I followed the trend this morning. I didn't have a devotional this morning. You know, I played <laughs> oh, <God. yeah. laughs> I played a song of healing, and I know there are persons who are listening. You know, there are persons, you know, people believe in God for healing, whether it be physical healing in the body, maybe it's mental, maybe it's spiritual, but I believe that somebody was healed, and we give God for a mighty move this morning. But, of course, I know I put it in your hands this morning to deliver a word for God's people. They have waited. They're still here. And they're believing God for a word. When God Amen. speaks, it makes a difference. And I know that you're a man that always have a word. Over to you, Elder Muir. Amen. Glory to God. Just want to say good morning to you again, um, Mr. Roshan. Good morning to all the listeners out there on HGG Radio. All those who are listening just by mere coincidence this morning. It's not a coincidence, but trust me, you're here for the right reason. And we're giving God thanks in everything let us pray mm -hmm. father in the name of jesus we exalt you one more time we honor you as king and as lords father as the psalmist would say let the words of our mouth this morning and the meditation of our heart be accepted in thy sight O oh Lord, our oh strength. Thank you for the strength that you have afforded your people. Lord, I pray, oh hallelujah, that you will strengthen someone else today. Father, give them the strength to go on throughout the day. Throughout the week, Lord God, give them a new look on life, a new outlook. In the name of Jesus, we rest everything in your hands as we say thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. It is indeed a time where we're seeing another change, another change in the, the environment, another change in the, the, the weather. And of course, if we allow God, there will be a change in our lives, another change in our lives. Praise the name of Jesus. And, and for that reason, I want to go back to the book of John, John chapter 12. Praise the name of Jesus. And, and reading from the King's, King James Version, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone, but if it dies, it produces much grain. When, uh, 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 sorry, I just read the New King James Version, but the King James Version says that, um, but if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. The Berenian the very end, literal Bible says, truly, truly, I say to you, unless the grain of wheat have fallen into the ground, should die, it abides alone. But if it should die, it bears much fruit. Praise the name of Jesus. So in all these versions, we recognize that there is uh, death being mentioned. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says that it is appointed unto man once to die, and after death comes the judgment. So indeed, death is an appointment. And in this sense, we see this appointment not only, hallelujah, for mankind, but even for a seed, a grain. The Bible says if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, then you can say to the mountain, mountain be removed, and that mountain must obey. So again, we're looking at the seed, and we're looking at death. I want to talk from the background of an 
agriculturalist this morning. And my knowledge on seed has led me to truly understand, I believe, as I humbly speak this morning, uh, what is meant from this very scripture. We have just gone through a period where we celebrated the Easter for those who celebrate Easter. And we saw, we look back on the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. There's someone this morning that needs to re be reminded about the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. John, in his epistle, said, Except that grain dies, it will remain alone. Sometimes we think about the fruit that the Bible talks about, but the alone aspect of it, we tend to forget. What does alone mean? Alone means that we don't create bonds. We don't create friendships. We don't create love. We remain alone within ourselves because self remains alive if that seed doesn't die. Now, a seed, praise the name of Jesus, contains the entire DNA of the parent. A seed is like an entire nation all together in one. Now, every seed that we know is made up of something that we call a coat on the outside. This coat protects that which is within. Except that seed dies. But the coat on the outside is there to, to, to maintain life within the seed. There are times when things seem as if nothing is happening in our lives. But we need to open our eyes and see that we have a protection over us, keeping us, storing us for the appointed time. A seed can remain dormant beneath the earth for hundreds of years. What causes a seed to grow is the environment. Soil, water, air, all these combine and causes that seed to grow. What we might know on a daily basis, is that if I take a seed and I put it in the ground or put it in some water, it will grow or germinate. But observe that seed. When that seed, that solitary seed, that single seed is placed in that earth and it dies, oh hallelujah, it doesn't really truly die. Death ushers in a different phase of life, a different way of living, a different way of understanding, a different way of doing. I'm talking about the seed, people of God. So the this, this, this seed now, in its state, you can picture any seed you want to picture right now. In its natural state, it doesn't have roots. It doesn't have leaves. It doesn't have all those floral beauty that mankind loves so much. But the truth is, that seed sometimes, on the outside, it is ugly. It is hard, but on the inside, it holds so much or holds so much beauty 
so much potential. But unless the conditions are right, that seed will remain in that state. There are some situations, people of God, that we must know about a seed. A seed, hallelujah, can go in that soil too and never ever come to life. So the conditions must be right. So the seed, people of God, is in one state before it goes into that soil to die. But when it goes into the side, into the soil to die, it, it, it now die of self. Because that self is what is in the way of the seed. So the seed now dies of self. If it doesn't shed the coat or that hardness, hallelujah, that hardness isn't removed, there is no way it can now transform into the life that was ordained for it. So the hardness needs to be removed. The self-preservation needs to be taken away. And that seed must now become vulnerable. Oh, hallelujah. Can we be vulnerable to God this morning? Can somebody, hallelujah, remove the hardness of the heart? Pharaoh's heart was hardened and he drowned in the Red Sea. Can somebody remove that tough coat that is on the outside? Can somebody decide, yes, it's time I have to die to give up my life because there must be a change in my life. I have to operate outside of self now. And the moment, people of God, that seed, hallelujah, starts to germinate, then we can say that movement starts to take place. Hallelujah. The roots start to protrude into the soil, causing some form of movement. Oh, glory to God. And as the roots go down, we realize that the roots now become active. The roots become active with the things around them. The roots start, hallelujah, providing air in the soil. And the soil itself starts providing the nutrients. So no longer is this, hallelujah, seed ah, solitary or providing for itself or thinking about itself. But naturally, the very soil that it's in is now creating a space within. So hallelujah, the soil itself can be better. Hallelujah. So we look at it and we see roots being formed. Hallelujah. This is after that, 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 that grain or that seed has removed the toughness and the hardness, not allowing anything to come in. That's after, hallelujah, that seed or that grain, hallelujah, is becoming vulnerable to the things around them. Oh, glory to God, hallelujah. I hear, hallelujah, the man of God, hallelujah, Job, when he was afflicted, he said, naked I came into this world, hallelujah, but people of God, naked you shall go. I believe, hallelujah, that if we open our self to God, if we become vulnerable to God, if we become naked in the sight of our God, then God will start to establish us. God will start to turn some things around in our lives. God will have us to do something that we could not do in the state that we are in. But God wants his people this morning to let go and let God. Can somebody type this morning, let go and let God. Can somebody shout this morning, let go and let God. God, can somebody look into their lives this morning and say, let go and let God. Sometimes we're trying to fight some battles, but we need to die to self. We need to understand that God wants us, hallelujah, to be open to him, hallelujah, so he can touch us, hallelujah. Sometimes we only sing this song, touching Jesus is all that really matters, but we cannot touch Jesus if there's something God in our hearts. We cannot touch Jesus, if there is malice and wickedness forming a coat over our deliverance, we cannot touch Jesus if we're not softened by the word of God. Touching Jesus. So we see that seed starting 
Hallelujah. Not to move, hallelujah, only downwards in the soil. Huh? But as that seed comes up, oh God Almighty, we see a new birth. Hallelujah. The seed now emerges with something pushing above the soil. Oh God Almighty, in your state, you will remain below ground. In your state, hallelujah, you're not going to see that light. But as the seeds come up through the ground, it bursts asunder and it pushes its leaves up in the air and the sun hits it and the seed starts to produce. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody needs, hallelujah, to allow God, hallelujah, to touch them. Because as the seed came through the soil, there was a touch of sunlight and that sunlight caused a reproduction. Hallelujah. The process to continue in that soil. There's someone today that needs to look to the light. There's someone today that needs to forgive. There is someone today that needs to put things behind it's not about you, but if you're dying to self, oh, glory to God, without a hallelujah, you dying to self, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Without you dying to self, you cannot see your victory. Without you dying to self, you cannot see your appointments. Without you dying to self, you cannot see your breakthroughs. Without you dying to self, you cannot walk in the light that God would have you to walk. You may feel as if you're walking because you're below ground every day and your brain below the surface. You believe that you're somewhere, but it's just those little nitty little, those little uh, quitters in the soil that is bothering you and you think you hear it from God. I'm saying someone needs to surrender this morning. Someone needs to remove that heart. heart. Someone needs to remove that tongue of backbiting. Someone needs to remove the things that have been holding them down. That coat that is keeping that potential all wrapped up oh, that Jesus can have you and do with you what he would have to do oh glory to God you need to allow hallelujah your, your potential to come forth just allow God oh God almighty I hear people saying all the while let go and let God this morning somebody needs to let go I don't know what you have been doing I don't know what you have been holding on to but it's time to let go it's time to remove that quota that God can bless you. It's time to truly come beyond the surface. Oh, hallelujah. You can shout all you want from the ground, but we get above the surface. That is when God will be touching your lives. Oh God, and then you can truly sing with affirmity that touching Jesus is all that really matters. And your life, I promise you, will definitely never be the same. Somebody needs to let go. Somebody needs to understand that I have to die to my emotions. I have to die to anger. I have to die to the things that persons have done me and to the things that even people are doing now. I have to die, hallelujah, because sometimes you hear some things, oh glory to God, when you are down under, the earth crust is moving because earthquake is taking place somewhere, but you become so confused, oh hallelujah, you're hearing things to keep you down, oh glory to God, sometimes it's best to, hallelujah, when those things come at you, to, to, to be deaf to them, oh glory to God, you don't need to hear some things, hallelujah, because when they come to you, some people believe that it's going to motivate you, but it's going to pull you down. Hallelujah. You need to remove this hardness that God can have his way in your life. Oh, glory to God. I remember in the scriptures, praise the name of Jesus, the man of God, hallelujah, Joseph. If Joseph, hallelujah, had listened to all the noise coming through his ears, oh, glory to God, he would be where God would have had it to be to save a nation. And I'm saying to someone that you need to be vulnerable to the scriptures. You need to be vulnerable to the word. You need to be vulnerable to God. Oh, hallelujah. Let them say that you're soft. Let them say that you're useless. Whatever they want to say. But you need to open yourself up to God. That when you come to the surface, you can say, I know that the scriptures are correct. 
because God said that he is the light and now I am seeing the light because I've let self be pushed aside and now I'm looking to the light the light, the light, the light and if you follow the light people of God then you will start to bear fruit your thinking is different No, your branches will be waving in the wind oh hallelujah No, there will be an exchange between oxygen it means that you'll be breathing properly it means that you'll be taking in the right things and, and pushing out the wrong things oh glory to God hallelujah this is how leaves function they take in the oxygen in one stage and push out carbon dioxide and if it gets too much in another phase they take in the carbon dioxide and pushes out the oxygen that's what you will be doing when you start seeing God when you have, right, when you have risen above the surface uh, then God will work through you uh, oh God almighty he will cause you to bear fruit uh, you start operating in a different manner know when the blessings flow hallelujah when the rain falls oh glory to God you can feel the anointed moisture on your body the leaves get wet the plant gets wet uh, but when it was underground it couldn't feel the way it was feeling because every drop of blessing it touches it moves that leaf moves when the water from above touches so the blessings when the blessings come you shall move and you understand the God that you're serving oh praise the name of Jesus when the wind blows oh hallelujah when the Holy Ghost blows, hallelujah, you too shall move, because you shall feel the presence. But if you're not dead, hallelujah, you cannot know, hallelujah, when the Spirit of God is moving, you cannot feel that anointing, because self is still keeping you. You're still in your seat. Sea coat, you need to shed it, you need to shed it, you need to shed it, and let God do it for you. Oh, hallelujah. What a glorious time in the Lord you will have when you start shedding. Ah, then you will see your fruits coming forth. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Because you have now allowed yourself to die, to die to the thing that has been holding you back. Because sin, the Bible says, hallelujah, whomever you obey, you become slave to them. So if you obey sin, you become slave to sin. And devil, Satan himself, is the father of sin. Oh, glory to God. So if you obey sin, you become, uh, hallelujah, the, the, the student or the understudy of the devil. So I'm saying to you this morning, hallelujah, let God, just let go and let God and bear your fruits in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and Man, I'm going to be asking Elder Muir to pray this morning as we're believing God for his many blessings. We thank you, Elder Muir, for making yourself available this morning to pray for the listeners of HGG Radio and also just to remind the listeners also of Higher in Prayer. Go ahead, Elder Muir. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I exalt you. Father, I lift you up. Lord God, all your servants were listening this morning. They're listening because they have faith that, oh God, that you will send a word that you will touch them. And by faith this morning, I pronounce a blessing upon every listener in the name of Jesus. Those who are feeling groggy, depressed, lethargic, whatever the adjective, whatever the word this morning, Lord, I speak life. Let them feel your abundance of blessings this morning. And as you have said in the book of the Philippians, Lord God Almighty, whatsoever things are true, Lord God, let them find truth. Whatever things are just, let them find just. Whatever things are lovely, let them find lovely. Whatever things are honorable, let them find honor wherever they are. Hallelujah, Jesus. And think on these things. Bring life to their situation. Lord, Lord, just touch them with a blessing of happiness this morning. Oh God, whatever state that they're in, Lord, let them be content, oh God, and let them by faith be elevated, Lord God, to a place, oh God, of happiness. 
Father, touch your people. Whatever the enemy has plotted this morning, oh God, I put a full stop to it now in the name of Jesus. The devil shall not accomplish its plans for today. In the name of Jesus, we cancel, we cancel, we cancel, we bind in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because we know that the will that is in heaven will be done and must be done on earth according to the word of God. Touch your people, those in pain this morning. You are the God, hallelujah, that soothes us, oh God. Send forth a bomb right now and touch, touch, touch every part of that body in the name of Jesus. Lord, I release everything in your hands because you are the author and the finisher. Continue writing in our lives, oh God, of your goodness. Continue writing in our lives of your mercies. Continue your writing joy. Erase, oh God Almighty, the things, hallelujah, oh, of the, the devil. Yes, your people, they have made mistakes in the past, but Lord God, we know you're a God, hallelujah, of the future. Father God, a God, hallelujah, that, that has good thoughts for his people, a thought of peace, thoughts, oh God Almighty, of an expected end. We cancel every death, oh God, over your people today. Every death angel we come against in the name of Jesus, and I speak life life and life more abundantly in the name of jesus hallelujah jesus have your way lord have your way as i give you thanks this morning in your mighty name amen and amen hallelujah glory to god hallelujah just want to say good morning again to all those hallelujah who are online michelle elsie Maria, Kathleen, Lyra, Andrea, Ventula, hallelujah. A good morning to you all, Teresa, Lisa, Sharon, Maria, Teresa again, and Michelle, Gloria, Romaine, and uh, uh, Chanel, Lennox, uh, Kathleen. Good morning to you all. Good morning to you all. And as you're here with us this morning, praise the name of Jesus. I'm also inviting you out to Higher in Prayer tonight at 7.30 Mountain Standard Time. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that uh, many persons have received their deliverance, their blessings. Some persons we have prayed and they have seen little changes, while others still waiting on their change. But I'm going to say hallelujah. I'm going to wait until my change come. I'm going to continue to pray for you. I'm going to continue to pray for anyone who is in need of prayer. And when I say I, I mean all those who will be on tonight. We are going to pray. We have Oh, God Almighty, people from all over. Tonight, we should be having Pastor Leon Bogle from I Am Blessed Ministries over there in the United States. Praise the name of Jesus. He'll be here to pray with us. He'll leave a word of empowerment with us. We have Sister Sonia Irish, Sister Gregory, Sister Millicent, Minister Kirk, Pastor, pa Pastor Clive, and so many others that will be praying. Higher ground team will be praying in the background for you. Come on out and be blessed and let God do the rest. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you all this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much, Elder Muir, for sharing inside MPIAW Motivation, Prayer, Instruction, Action, and Worship. Of course, join Elder a little later on inside MPIAW, Motivation, Prayer, Instruction, Action, and Worship, right here on HGG Radio. In a little while, we're going to pull things down on Facebook and, of course, on YouTube. Thank you again, Elder Muir. Have a wonderful day. and God bless you and your family. There is power in the name of Jesus. Join me, Elder Edmund Muir, and the Higher Ground Tabernacle family as we team up with prior warriors from all around the globe to break down walls of oppression and bring victory to your situation. Join us in Higher in Prayer on HGG Radio. This and every Monday night, 7.30 Mountain Standard Time. Send us your prior requests or testimonies to our WhatsApp number 825 343 
825-343-4486. That's 825-343-4486. And higher in prayer until you feel the Holy Ghost fire. See you there. Oh, there is power in the 